Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to show you how to use Shiko's remote attendance tracker template in Google Sheets. This template is ideal for teachers using Google Classroom to teach remotely, or administrators looking for a simple way to automate student attendance tracking in their school. This template enables you to quickly check which students are attending the online classes, so you can keep an eye on student participation and welfare by quickly checking which students have repeatedly been absent. Google Classroom doesn't contain an inbuilt function for attendance monitoring, but with this template, you can set up an integrated system that generates automated reports for all your students and classes. Unlike a standard spreadsheet template, this Shiko workflow contains separate but connected Google Sheets files and data flows between them via Shiko connections. These Shiko connections allow you to transfer data between different files automatically. This means that you can create your own remote student attendance tracking system without any specialist software, just the tools that you're using, Google Classroom and Google Sheets. A spreadsheet-based system like this is very scalable. This template can be used for a single department, the whole school, or even the entire school district. You simply add more sheets to expand the system. And it's really flexible too, allowing you to create a custom system for your school. When things change, you can adapt the sheets by itself, no need to contact IT support. And of course, if you use spreadsheets to monitor and manage other parts of your school, such as one-on-one -on -one tutoring or extracurricular programs, you simply add these sheets to the workflow to create a fully integrated student management system. And also, we all know that if you have a large team of teachers working in the same spreadsheets, they become very large and slow. Plus, there's a higher chance of anyone making mistakes. A workflow with separate files is lighter to process. And it also gives you more data accuracy and privacy since every teacher is working in their class spreadsheets. So now, how does it work? Shiko's attendance management workflow contains four different files. Three of these Google Sheets files are sample class files where teachers track attendance in. These are called history, math, and science. These are the spreadsheets that we're gonna replace with our adapted remote spreadsheets. This way we're gonna adapt our current attendance template for remote classes. And to do so, you simply replace each pre-connected spreadsheet with the remote class spreadsheet. When the teacher then starts an online class, they simply share the form with their students via Google Classroom directly or Microsoft Teams, for example. And using this form, the students register that they are present in class. And these responses then automatically populate into your remote class spreadsheet. Those spreadsheets are then connected to the master sheet and dashboard, where in this file, the school administrator gets an overview from all attendance data from all classes in the school in the automated dashboard and reports. Okay, now let's take a look at how to set up your remote attendance system. To install our student attendance tracker template, you simply click the link in the video description below and it will take you to the Shiko web application where you can sign in with your Google account. There we go, you just click on use template and Shiko will create copies of the attendance workflow in your Google Drive and create the connections between the files. There you go. The attendance management workflow is now installed in my Google Drive and you can see that it opens inside Shiko so you can work in the spreadsheets at the same time as editing the workflow right here. But what we need to do now to adjust this template to be customized for remote classes and of course integrate with your Google Classroom, you need to change these input sheets, math, science and history because these are designed for regular classes, not for remote. I will put a link in this description where you can copy our remote class spreadsheets. So these are adjusted to automatically work with the Google Forms and then bring the data of your classroom automatically into our attendance dashboard. So create a copy of the file like I do now. There we go. This is the spreadsheet that we need for our remote attendance template. As you can see, there's two tabs added in this spreadsheet, and these are the tabs that bring the data from your forms automatically into your spreadsheet. 
Of course, what you do is you make as many copies of these of this file as you need for different remote classes and then rename the files accordingly. One for history, one for French classes, one for math and so on and so on. Let me show you how it works. I will change our current spreadsheets right here for this remote template. To do so, you go to connections. As you can see, there are three connections in this workflow. First of all, we're going to remove the attendance complete check connection because this connection is not required if you're adapting the template for remote classes. So let's do so. Remove connection. And now let's adapt the other two by clicking on the three dots right here and edit connection. Here you see where the data comes from. So the source for this connection is the three files that we have, history, math, and science. And per spreadsheet, we bring the overview per student together in this master sheet. But we can remove all of them. Let's add another source file. I'm gonna add the remote class spreadsheet. There we go. And of course, in the tab name, we choose the overview per student. Done. And then signs can be removed as well. So now we only have in this connection, we're only going to bring the data from our remote class spreadsheet. So let's click on finish and save. And then you do the same for the overview per month, of course. You see there are three here. I will add the remote class file. the overview per month this time, click done. The other three can go. And finish and save. That's it. That's how you adjust the workflow itself. So you've now connected this master sheet and dashboard to your remote class spreadsheet. Of course, share these spreadsheets, make copies of them, and then give added access to the teachers responsible for this certain class before they can start using it. As I mentioned before, this remote class spreadsheet comes with two Google Forms attached. So instead of the teacher having to manually register which student shows up to class in this spreadsheet, the data flows into this teacher's spreadsheet automatically from these forms. First of all, let's check if these forms are configured correctly. So in the attendance form tab, you go to form in the menu and then go to edit form. On the top right corner right here, we click on the cog item to check the settings. Make sure that this checkbox is checked so that you collect email addresses and restrict to users only in your organization. Because this template only works if you have a G Suite domain, because then you can automatically collect email addresses. Okay, so we see that these two checkboxes are ticked, so that's fine. Let's save it. And let me explain this form really quickly. Your students will just use this form to confirm that they are present in an online class. So note that this form doesn't have any fields to fill out, so it's really easy. You students simply have to click the submit button to register their presence in class. I'll show you how it looks like, like this. They simply get this form and then click submit to prove that they're present in the class. So at the beginning of each online session you have, you just share this form link with your students via Google Classroom. Now there's another form in this template. It's the absence excuse form. This is the form that you can use to register an approved absence. This form can also be used by parents, for example, to communicate when and why their child will be absent from class. It's much easier than emails and everything is logged in the spreadsheet, allowing administrators to check the information, of course. Let me go to the form to show it to you. Unlike the attendance form, this absence excuse form does contain a couple of fields to fill out, as you can see, such as the student email address, the date of their absence, the reasons why, and then potentially you can add an attachment such as a medical appointment receipt or pictures or videos. So that's how you fill out this absence excuse form. There's no need to edit any settings. There we go. Let me show you now how you can update your workflow. So once you've shared the remote class spreadsheets with the teachers and he or she has used the forms in Google Classrooms to track student attendance, you want this data, of course, updated in your master sheet and dashboards. 
to do that and bring this data here, you simply click on run here inside Chico. But of course, if you do not want to do this manually, every time you need to see some updated student information, you click on automate to schedule automatic updates. And if you work with other school managers, then you can simply share this student attendance workflow with them via this share button right here. That's it. That's how you use the attendance template. But now let me show you our dashboard. Here it is. You you'll get an easy visual overview of the attendance per class, presence rate per month, and also your top students who always attend class or the ones that don't. That's how to get started with Chico's remote attendance workflow template. If you're looking for a customized student attendance tracking system or you need any help with this template, simply book a meeting with our experts via the link that I'll put in the description below. If you're working in a smaller school and you do not need this complete workflow system, we also have a basic attendance sheet. I will put the link to copy that template in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more spreadsheet-based automation ideas and templates. Thank you.